Winter Farmer's Market is one of those gems you find in communities all over Maine. A place to meet up for sweet treats, hot drinks, and vendors selling just what your family needs. On Sunday, November 22nd, BCTV stopped by the first farmer's market of the season. We found dedicated vendors selling beautiful vegetables, meats, and handcrafted items. Between customers, BCTV asked the vendors how COVID has impacted their farm or business. Here is what we found. My name is Tina Valier. I'm Cassie Peralt's mother from Cassie's Canning Cabinet, and I'm just volunteering today to, to help Cassie out because she couldn't be here today. Cassie's Canning Cabinet. I'll give it a shot. Where does she work out of it? Out of Berwick? Or? Yes, she's right here in Berwick. She works out of her home. So I'm wondering, on School Street, are there specific hours that she's there? The no, um, no, my dad just um, rolls the cart out when the sun is shining, and, and, and it will be closing up after Thanksgiving. So it was just, you know, a little bit to try to subsidize, you know, the losses this year. But um, that has been like one of the biggest impacts is, is the glass shortage. Um, she has been able to, you know, scrape some up and, and get by, but... But yeah, it was like definitely difficulties, um, you know, and like the jam um, jars we had completely run out of for a while. What kind of things does she make? It looks like she makes lots of products from salsa, jellies, jams, uh, pickles, dill pickles, hot garlic pickles, bread and butter, pick lily, all your relishes. She's out. It sold out of pickle beets today and zucchini relish, jelly beans, crushed tomatoes. She, um, she has a lot of, lot of great products, really. Uh, the one that is her best seller is not here. It's the hot garlic pickles, I believe, are the best seller. Um, I would say that is, yeah, that's definitely her, her best seller. Yeah, other than the, the jar shortage, how has COVID affected Well, I mean, Cassie is a mother of three boys, and she also has a foster daughter, so she's, you know, she's homeschooling, so, you know, so she has to deal with, with that. But also um, the inability for like the outdoor markets. So a lot of a group of vendors actually got together and they um, they started this new Tri Town Farmers Market, which is at Sturgeon Creek, and that is like a vendor-based market because there's not indoor locations, and pretty soon the weather is not going to permit these these outdoor markets. So so they're doing what they can. To